Joining me on Fan TV tonight after a 4-3 home defeat against the Basing Soap Bison, I've got the, the two Ferraras, uh, uh, Robbie and, and Jimmy. Uh, Jimmy, let's start with you. Um, perhaps a frustrating game tonight and, uh, uh, you know, just interested in your thoughts on, on the, perhaps the performance and the result. Um, I think overall a good performance. I think overall we were the better team, just. I think the first period we let ourselves down a little bit and we went behind and obviously against a team like this, chasing the game is very difficult. We found that out a couple of days ago. Um, obviously we didn't leave ourselves as much to do a couple of days ago, we managed to pull it back in the third. I think in the second and the third we did enough to have won the game but obviously you, you, you're playing catch up against one of the best teams in the league, it's, it's very difficult. Um, and I mean, you can't you can't fault the effort, you can't fight the desire. Second and third period, I thought we were, we were very very good and played some of the best hockey we have this year. But they've got a good goalie, and as, as I said, it's difficult to chase the game against them. Um, it's one of those things. Sometimes it doesn't go your way. Tonight could have done, but it, you know it didn't. Uh, Robbie, I thought in the first period we were guilty, perhaps of uh, of. Uh, calling pressure onto ourselves, maybe turning it over in our own zone, and they, they kept us camped in. And in the second period, we did that to them, and it was a much more positive uh, second period from the Phantoms. Uh, I felt that the, the two goals they scored were, were breakaways that perhaps against the run of play. Yeah, they were a little bit. Um, like I said, the first period, they probably did have the edge. We made a few mistakes. We weren't quite, I think D were doing one thing and forwards maybe doing another, and between us, we weren't quite getting the puck out. But in the second period, we managed to turn that around and play much, much better. Uh, put a lot of pressure on them and just the look of the draw they, they got a couple of bouncers that went their way and, and they scored off the breakaways so this is a tough one to take but uh, I think the performance you can be quite proud of and it's positive looking forward to the rest of the season so. and It's sport isn't it, you, you win some and, 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 and unfortunately like tonight you, you lose some, uh, I guess going into the fixtures over the course of the last uh, uh, couple of days we, we might have taken splitting the results against the Bison Jimmy, what do you reckon? Two uh, points? I think, you know, we took three out of four points against Swindon and seven out of eight for the season. Um, we're 50-50 with Basingstoke now. We've got two more games against them. So I think you take three out of four or even, you know, all four would be nice against them. Um, we'll, we'll still stand ourselves in good position. Um, they've got to play Swindon four times, I think, in the league still. So the, I'm hoping they're going to, they should take points off each other. They're both very, very good teams, same as we have, you know, the last couple of days. Um, so we're still in a really good spot. Um, got some good and tough fixtures coming up, um, some cup fixtures as well, lots to play for. Um, I think if we play most games for 60 minutes the way we did tonight in the second and third period, we should we should continue, you know, our good form and uh, especially against the big teams, but also against you know some of the, the perhaps weaker opposition. Um, um, but we're still in a good position come the new year. Um, See what, see what the next few weeks bring us. I think the point you make about the fixtures that, that are on the horizon for both teams are important. Uh, we've played Swindon out now and seven out of eight points. I think we've got a couple against Bracknell. Uh, they've got four against Swindon, although, of course, Bracknell beat Swindon, I think, the, the, uh, last night, maybe. Um, Robbie, just to finish with you, uh, the, the bits of the jigsaw fell into the place for the Phantoms still to qualify for the National Cup, didn't it? And uh, that was uh, a, a defeat of the Sheffield Steel Dogs by Hull. Uh, we've got Sheffield. How big a game is that now? Yeah, it's massive now. We've we've let ourselves down really in that competition with with some of the performances. We, we could have got a couple more points and not put ourselves in that position. But thankfully, he'll have done us a bit of a favour, and now we've got to capitalise. We win that game, and we're in a very good position to to get through. Well, guys, thanks for your, your honesty about the, the performances tonight. I think it was I think it was a pretty good performance and and uh, and a, a good Christmas period really. Uh, happy New Year to you, and uh, we'll see you on Thursday night. Thank you. Cheers. Thank you.